So, look where I am. <laughs> I'm at the Genetech booth here at ISC West, and I thought it would be really fun to be able to show folks just how easy it is to provision a mobile ID to a phone in real time inside of Security Center. Yep, I can so, so we show that. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing that we're going to show here is Config Tool. Yes. And can you just kind of take us through the configuration of how we would set this up? Yeah, definitely. The way it works is we create a profile in Security Center uh, in a Config Tool. The reason why we're doing it in a Config Tool is so that it can be accessible from all the workstation. Uh, so any users will be able to issue uh, credentials so long they have the privilege for it. Got it. So the first step, um, I already have one set up here, but I can create some others. We have unlimited numbers of profile we can create. Realistically speaking, I don't think customers will have multiple profile, but the system supports it. All we really need, the name can be anything like your input, uh, it's free text. Really what matters is organization ID, the client ID, and the password. So those, that information is available on the HID portal. Right, uh, so when somebody signs up for an Arigo portal, they're going to be given this information. Exactly. Once you load that information, the part number is going to change for a list, so you can select what are the, what are the credential type you want to be issuing on that profile. So if you happen to have multiple card format, they'll all be listed there. So Got it. We're pulling that information from uh, the Origo website. We'll be showing the card format and then the facility code if anything has been selected. Given I already set it up here, um, I won't go any further there. And another interesting uh, aspect of it is we can actually give the status of the subscription. So whether you're running out of uh, credits or your account has not been paid, people don't have to log in into the portal to see that information. Right. They can get a real status rate from uh, the security. Yeah, system. ideally, once you set up the Arigo portal, yeah. you probably should never have to go back there right. unless there's like really specific things you need from an administrator perspective. So like even right here, it's showing you've used 551 yeah. out of 1,000 licenses. That's that's pretty much all the information you would really ever need. Exactly, and then what you'll see, like we'll see later on once we issue credential for a certain individual, we'll see the different requests or credential that be assigned. So if somebody loses uh, his phone for whatever reason or needs to reset, can see the request and then we can uh, decide to cancel, reissue, or so we can do the whole management from uh, Security Center, not having to go back to the mobile, uh, to the web page of Oracle. Nice. So let's jump into the security desk, which is typically what operators are using for their day-to-day -day task. We are in a call order management task. We have the same thing for the visitor management. Um, in this case, I had a filter on. So this is all our call orders. I'm just going to create a new one, selling this. So we just need to have the email address, first name, last name. And if I go to add credential, get mobile credential, and then I have the profile. So if I had named it anything different, I would have other names. As you can see, I only have one profile in this case. Click OK. It's sending the information to the Oracle platform. Cards has been assigned. We have our ID that is automatically re um, returned from the platform. And what, what I think is really important to note there is like the speed of that. Because now the card number was just pulled from Arigo exactly. directly into into Synergis. Yes. So once I save this, so the, uh, the user has not accepted yet the credential, but it has been sent. So the moment the person open up uh, his email address, it will have a link with a code, click on the, the email to open up into the app, and then the credential will be um, ready to go. One thing I didn't do here was to set the access rule. Obviously, without any access rule, nobody has access anywhere. But um, that was just to show how quickly we can assign. So if I go here, and then I do refresh, I see the credential I just created. I see the information, the card number that was associated. I see that the status is pending, waiting for the user to accept it. Um, and if for any reason I decided, well, it's a mistake, I shouldn't have not done that, uh, then I can go back into the invitation and do a cancel, or if the person didn't accept it within the default three days, I could always say, well, we send the invitation so they can have a chance to accept it. Oh, that's actually really cool because that's another thing that you can do from the administrator portal that I did not actually know you could do in here is resend the invitation. Correct. So the really idea is to be able to uh, get all the focus uh, people can do the, uh, the management from one platform. Awesome. Great. But that was easy. Yeah. That was easy. That's the whole point. So if you'd like to learn more about adding mobile credentials to your Genentech Security Center system. I've left Francois' contact information down below as well as mine. Thank you for making it this far in the video, and we'll see you on the next one.